here we are once again the jack cassidy epiphone bass and it's on sale 549 549 so let's hear it not bad and i want to mention something the pickup placement is everything um, where the pickup is placed on this bass i think that is what makes the tone of this bass so special through the boss katana once again so basically doing a repeat of the last time that i was here trying to demo this bass i really like this bass a lot but i don't have any more room left for another bass right now so i would have to unload some other bases to get this bass but i think right now for the semi hollow segment of basses you cannot go wrong with this bass there's just something special about the tone it sounds better than a Hofner, way better than a Hofner. It sounds way better than the Hagstrom Viking bass. It sounds better than that. I mean, the feel is great. Now, Ibanez, who I will be talking more about, I'm a big fan of Ibanez. Their semi-hollow basses are great too. I would say that when it comes down to semi-hollow basses, it's all about this Epiphone Jack Cassidy bass. Uh, I have yet to play the Guild Starfire. Well, actually, wait, I think I did play it. I think I have played the Guild Starfire. I think maybe. I don't know. But either way, right now, semi hollow basses, it's coming down to the Jack Cassidy or the Ibanez AGV 200. And this bass right here are my favorite semi hollow basses that I have played to date here in 2023, November. So I'm going to go on and play you guys out. I'm going to give it a little bit more on the master.
toggle switch here and it's got um, 50, 250, and 500 on it. So let me let you hear that. So here's 50. These two knobs are at the max. slap it today. No slapping. 